Uh, da, 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 da. There, now we can hear me. God damn it. It's because of when I redid the computer. There we go. How's it going, guys? Yeah, no, when I redid the uh, PC yesterday, of course, I had to plug everything back in, and when I did, it changed the setting for the microphone. How's it going, Bad Bake? Was so peaceful. I see how it is, Bad Bake. I see how it is. <coughs> Um, no, I don't have game sounds. Why don't I have game sounds? God damn it. This is why we can't have nice things. Uh, gameplay should be where? And voice meter again. Should be desktop, voice meter, vio. Do, 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 do. That's what it should be. <sighs> God damn it. Uh, did that work? There we go. That's better. Yeah, server's down, oppies. I had to fix some shit. So, I want to make sure I got it all fixed before I put the save back up on the server. Ah, oh, god damn it. That's annoying. Uh, the joys of setting up a computer. Hey, keeping warm. How is the uh, cabin working out there, Bad Bake? Well, I got everything set up, but of course, because new USBs and everything, I just realized that when I go in here, I'm going to come over here to the gamepad, and we're going to look, and all my dead zones reset. Yep. There we go. How's it going? Yep. Yeah, the new case looks nice, but man, oh man, what a pain. Let's see. There it be. Nice, good to hear, Bad Bake. Yeah, it's getting it's getting colder. Definitely getting colder. I need to finish fixing some of my uh, cables and stuff like that. My currently, I don't have my uh, back. Yeah, we're gonna get this pulled out right now because I want my heating pad. My back is not uh, having a good time with yesterday's. Uh, Adventures. <laughs> that plugged in. <coughs> <coughs> Joe.
joy. I have to have something to hang these with. <laughs> uh, she took off with all of that stuff. Oh, well. I'll come back to that later. Yeah, it's it's pretty, but uh, what a pain. I tried installing one piece of software and ended up uh, having so many issues. Like, I, I'm done with that company as far as their software goes. Unless they make major, major, major improvements to it. Oops, sorry, cat. Otherwise, things have been okay. Tried to redo the, uh... Well, what happened was, if you look at the case, the one piece of, the one piece of lighting in here that doesn't match anything else is the uh, graphics card. The MSI graphics card has its own program to control the lighting. Okay. I get it. Not a big deal. I'll download the program. Well, when I downloaded the program for that, it uh, destroyed... Or it, it took the lighting controls from my RGB uh, RAM and removed them. How's it going, wheels? So then everything else matched except for this and this. And then this I couldn't get to control. I spent four hours trying to get this software back out of the computer. Because every time I tried to reboot or something like that, it would crash the computer. Because part of MSI has this what, LEDkeeper.exe that runs in the background to keep the LEDs running. And it crashed the computer every time I try to shut it down. And then when you go to remove it... Nah. We're not going to let you do that. We're not going to let you remove it. Why would we want to do such a thing? So, yeah, just absolute frustration. But it's done, it's fixed. Now it's all of the quirks of, well, this one, this, this header got unplugged, so now it's, I gotta do it this way, and all that crap. Sound settings and everything else that goes with it. So right now we're getting ready to move a bunch of equipment up here to the grass area. We have to lay out a uh, space. <clears throat> Looks like we got quite a bumpy yard to deal with, too. Send this guy back down to the other farm to pick up some more equipment. <coughs> Basically have to drive him to the road because he doesn't know where he's going otherwise. <coughs> Great demand at the debris crusher. Okay. Uh, set destination... Uh, hold on a second. All right. 
tired of the cold? Yeah, cold is just now starting to uh, set in here. Uh, let's see. What was it that I needed to get? Uh, oh, yeah. We need to go buy in some product from uh, the train station. A couple of our productions are running dangerously low on things we need, so... We're going to go get that started. <clears throat> well, let's see. When my youngest got on the bus the temperature said it felt like four degrees and that was at eight o'clock this morning it's now 10 feels like negative 15 temperature dropped that much in the last two hours Heat wave? Hell no. It was 40 degrees last week. Oh, wrong location. Yeah. You can say that again, Wheels. Do 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 do. Want the woman because you're tired of cooking yourself in front of a fireplace? Yeah. Ow. Get this over to the vinegar plant. Yeah. I apparently hit the fence. This place is not easy to get into. I uh, didn't set it up the greatest for this. Where's the fun in that, Michael?
Dang it, did I just get caught on the fence? I did. I should have swung around and come in the other direction. It's actually a little easier to get in there that way. To there, babe. All right, we also need some wheat and some rice for the seeds. We are out of seed in the seed production. I ran out. Harvest can't come soon enough. Nothing like dropping 200 grand on products to <laughs> keep the farm running. So All right, get this over to the process station, get it dumped in. Check on the other tractors. They should be running back and forth now. Yep. He's where he needs to be. So we can grab the next piece, send it up to the other farm. to get some stuff brought up to the composter but trucks currently full of TMR uh, some more mods today yeah I saw that oppies or uh, Billy They had a few mods released. Not many. That should run pretty quick.
Yeah, we're out of seed. <coughs> ah! Alright, we'll leave that one there. Let's jump over here. Ah, uh, Oppies, are you still there? Where'd the 8R go? He's You idiot. Full refund mod's interesting. Yeah, I did see that one. That's, um, yeah, just gives you the full price back. Very handy when you're placing buildings and trying to get them situated right. Uh, but if you've got easy dev controls, it's not hard to give yourself back the money you lose if you have to sell it and replace it. There, Michael. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, he probably has to go deal with the fire or something like that, Billy. Did your power supply show up yet, Billy? Not yet, but the thermal paste arrived. There you go. Oh, that's a scary thought. Michael doing computer stuff? The power of love. You're a professional? Right. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, that one can stay here now. Wrapper's on its way. Uh, where do I 
put this. Does this place store it, maybe? Nope. Can't store the TMR in there. Nope. Main silo, maybe? bring a loader all the way over here to fix this. Guess this thing's gonna get parked over here by the cows for a while. thing to note, Oppies, don't ever put hay in the cow barn because they won't eat it until after they've eaten the TMR, which means they'll lose uh, productiveness while they're eating the hay. Cover didn't want to show open first. Yeah, it, it it's tough. The um the thing to keep in mind is with the animals in 19 they would have used some of that hay, but in 22 they'll only use the hay if they don't have any TMR at all. <coughs> so it it's tough to uh get rid of the hay unless you know how to tweak file numbers welcome to the jungle it'd be nice if we had a uh... I'll have to look yeah straw for the bedding inside um, but TMR only, straw for bedding, pigs, you just add the pig food. If you, if you try to add an individual crop, like with the pigs, if you were to try and add root crops, it's going to bring this total capacity up, not in relation to necessarily what's here. So it really, the pigs are weird. Right, there's that. Composter's got some stuff. Let's go bring this back. We'll get a switch back to a truck. Uh, we've got a bunch of slurry to haul. Milk.
Uh, a trick, though, for the dumping oppies, if you get the truck in the end here like this, it'll dump it out without it hitting the roof. Because it'll still give you the trigger outside of the building. As long as the back end is just inside the trigger. I really wish the ex the factory extensions were working so that we could add a dairy extension to the uh, normal dairy. I was getting low. Whoa, hey, car, why are you stopping so far back? That was close. Do you not need milk at the moment? Nope. It's full. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to sell off the rest of the milk. Where is it headed? New production lines or even make it so that it goes from shared production to uh, non-shared production? That would be handy too. All right, we're going to put Taco Bell in over here. Oh, excuse me. There we go, Taco Bell in now. I'm going to have to run the flattening tool quick. There we go. <coughs> Do we face it this way or the other way?
Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. If you just painted it a little bit, that I can fix. That'll be easy as pie, Billy. Alright. We also need Whataburger. I'll put Whataburger right. There, maybe. We also need to go over here, sell points. <coughs> Kinda wanna spin that around. This won't be that bad to get to, Billy. You'd be surprised, sir. <laughs> we need to give back, uh... Actually, that one sold for... Of course Dave had to size up the, the parking lot lines. Just a little bit. <laughs> More than one way to skin a cat. As the saying goes. Something like that. How's it going, Bodine? Alright, so, milk. Where are we going to get rid of this milk now? That's the name of the... Um, the silver autoload trailer I use? Uh, it's the lizard autoload trailer from, um... Uh, surfing Cowboy off the SGA website. Uh, let's see. Johnson's is the highest price at the moment. <clears throat> um, did... 
can't shout out the SGA, but you can do exclamation SGA, Billy. <laughs> uh, Billy's having withdrawals, I can tell. So, keep in mind, yes, I've got this and not a box, tra not a flatbed trailer, but... Those are pretty easy to get to. That wasn't too bad. What's the problem with that one, Billy? Should I should I go do it again? It would be nice, yeah. I don't think there's enough characters though to. Uh, it's not that much shorter than a flatbed trailer. Matter of fact, the truck's actually longer with this because I have to push the fifth wheel back. Now, if I had Dave's fat bed, that would be a different story. Really? You're empty. Drive. Sounds about right, Chris. How you doing? You staying warm today, Chris? <coughs> when is the uh, best time for the fries? August. Okay. My computer actually puts out so much air right now that I have to run a heater in here because it's making me cold. Oh, uh, for those that have watched the first season or are interested in uh, hilarity in farming, Clarkson's Farm Season 2 hits Amazon, I think, the 10th of February is what I saw. That'll be a nice, uh, nice watch there. I think we got a couple of slurry loads to run. We'll at least take one to get the slurry stores down a little bit. 
Uh, out of water. <clears throat> Takes precedent over the slurry. Inside, this truck's dirty. Needs a bath. Uh, right now, uh, last I checked it was starting to get pretty cold. I think it was, uh, yeah, right now it's three with a wind chill down to negative 20, I think. Oh, one with a wind chill down to negative 17. Forecast a negative 29 for you at midnight tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a bit colder here. I don't remember exactly where they're saying it's going to be at. But it won't be very warm, that's for sure. Come on. A little more. There we go. Go grab another load. Oh man, this heat, this heat and pad feels good, but my back is wrecked from yesterday. Moving that case around all over the place and trying to fit everything in there. What a pain. <clears throat> No, oh, that's right. I need to go down to the far one, not this one. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's park this trailer in over here. Play on UMRV? I've never heard of UMRV. Well, doesn't ring a bell. What's the UMRV stand for, Bodine? <clears throat> oh, the Mississippi River Valley. No, nothing I uh, played. That's weird. Charcoal? Uh oh. Oh, labor shortage probably killed it for a bit there. We're getting low on wood chips, but the labor shortage probably did me in for a while. Should be getting better now. <coughs> Oh, that's right. I've got to also empty that stuff, too. Um... Ah, yeah, that's probably why I never heard of it. I don't go looking for maps outside of known locations. If it's not on, like, the Mod Hub or something, or Dave slash someone that puts it out that I know, I won't ever find it. Do 
this will not have gypsum in it? Nope, apparently not. This may turn into a modding stream here shortly, because there's a few things I want to get done modding-wise that I might tackle in a minute. Hey, Fummins. How are you, bud? Oops. A little hasty on the exit. Grits Fano 101, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the channel. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Well, that's good there, Fummins. Got my new case all set up, Fummins. Took a while, but I got it done. How's it going, Charles? Yep, O11 Dynamic Evo boating. I uh, I went to the O11 Dynamic Evo. I put a Lian Lee Galahad 360 cooler in and uh, switched up my right uh, my RAM because I had that bad chip. Uh, I took the opportunity to go to uh, Trident Z Neo th uh, 3600 speed instead of 3200. It's supposed to work better with Ryzen processors, so... Like, well, if I'm going to replace one chip, I don't know if any other chips are getting ready to go bad. I might as well replace all four, and the price was pretty similar, so I said, screw it. I'll do it all. Take advantage of that uh, class action suit.
good to hear, Charles. Things are doing all right. Recovering from the uh, the PC swap, but yeah. Oh, and I also added a. Um, can you see it in those pictures? No, that's the wrong button. You can just barely see it in this picture here. Um, uh, PCI Express 16 uh, expansion for a 2 terabyte M.2 drive. So I added another 2 terabytes of space on M.2. R doesn't actually do anything in this vehicle, but I pressed it for you, Cookie. How you doing today, bud? Yep, I did it on the left side for how it would fit into the uh, <coughs> the underneath my desk. If I had left it with a right side build to put it on this side of my desk, I'd have actually had to move the post for the desk and everything around. Which would have been a right, right royal pain in the keister, so. I chose to do a right side build, or a, a left side build, so I could stick it on the other side of the uh, desk, kind of back where I used to have them. It works out great there. And it's kind of cool because of how it did that. Now it flips the motherboard around so that my seat, my uh, GPU, the fans point up instead of blowing the air down to come back up. The fans point up, and I've got the fans at the top of the case pushing out, so all the air and heat from them just go straight out the top of the case. Doing all right, Cookie. <clears throat> Doing all right. So yeah, it it, uh, it worked out pretty decent. I also, when I did it, of course, at the bottom, I added three of the uh, Lee Ann Lee 120 millimeter fans. They're the V1s. They're not the V2 fans. But they're pretty slick the way they snap together and stuff, so you only have one cable from them. Um, I don't know, to be honest with you, Bodine. I just know that it was the, ouch, the one that was available when I was doing it. Oh, no. That doesn't sound like fun there, uh, Cookie. <clears throat> Stuck on mobile gaming? That does not sound like fun. See, I'd be fine with off-grid living, being in the middle of goddamn nowhere with no internet. As long as I had power for a PC, I could live off-grid. <coughs> Solar panels, batteries, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It would, uh, it would be a pain not having access to the internet, but as long as I've got, you know, uh, something to game on, I'd be fine. Of course, physically, I don't think I'd be able to keep up with the amount of work you'd have to do for a house like that. But, who knows, maybe they'll get the meds worked out for me and, uh... It'll help out a bit. What happened to your PC, Bodine? Did yours crap out too, Bodine?
And, well, at least you won't have to worry about missing the next season of Dia... Oh, the boot error? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still can't figure that out, huh? Like I was saying, Cookie, at least you don't have to worry about missing the next season in Diablo. It looks like it's going to be a uh, very boring season. Right now on the PTR, there are people running two-minute solo 150s on the Demon Hunter. with the new spike trap build. It's it's even more broken than the strafe build was in season 27. Yep, solo solo 150s at Paragon 1200. We're not talking Paragon 6000, 7000, Paragon 1200. Yeah, it's like, I mean, there's going to be no challenge to it. People are soloing 150s with Meteor builds on the Wizard. Uh, the Necromancer with the Bone Spear, 150s, solo. I believe there's a Demon, uh, I, I even believe that the, uh, the Hoda Barb is able to solo some of this stuff too at 150. It's crazy. There's going to be like five or six classes, or like four or five of the classes that will solo 150s. No need for a ZDH, no need for a Zeta Barb, nothing. Just walk in and they're thinking that uh, by the time the season actually hits on the PTR, there could be sub one minute. Oh, we're talking Diablo 3. <laughs> That's where I met Mr. Cookie Monster. Yeah, it's like, wh what's the point of playing at that point? So you're getting a boot error. I forget, you did, what was it, you did a drive swap? Or did you add a drive? I'm trying to refresh my memory, Bodine. Oh, that's right. You went from a solid state to an NVMe. Does your solid state still boot properly? Or did you migrate the whole OS? So you cloned everything, it was working, you wiped the SSD, and now it's not working. <coughs> Do 
Did you change the boot order in the BIOS? How's it going there, KJ? Macrium Reflect, never heard of that one. I like to smoke. Doing all right. Hmm. Yeah, he gets a boot error when he tries to boot it up. He he sent it to me at one point, but I don't remember what the heck it said. Before you wiped the SSD, did you make sure it was booting off the NVMe and not still booting from the SSD? Because I'm wondering if it was reverting in its boot to the previous, you know, to the SSD because there was something wrong with the migrate and thus it didn't actually, uh, pr uh, you know, transfer correctly. But it was still booting up anyway because it was using the old information. Computers are funny like that. <clears throat> Two steps back. Well, that's why I'm saying, like, I don't remember exactly what was going on at the time. Here's one thought, Bodine. Is it possible for you to download a copy of Windows to a thumb drive and boot the PC using the SSD and reinstall Windows onto that to get things up and running? At least until you have a chance to uh, back up your farm sim files and stuff like that, and then go in and wipe everything. Uh, your wood chips, coal, copper. Sand. Yeah, make a bootable thumb drive, copy it to the old SSD so that you can get in and it won't mess with the files on the NVMe. Get a chance to back everything up, then go in and wipe the drive and redo it.
Back up further, dummy. <clears throat> um, well, that's just it. If you can get into Windows using the old SSD, you know, make a bootable copy so you can get in and uh, still access the SSD, you can transfer things around, then go back in and... Uh, Wipe the, you know, wipe the drive after you've transferred it. Do you have a, uh, like an ex a cheap external hard drive with enough room for your files? Heck, even some of the thumb drives nowadays are big enough for that. I mean, that's an option, too. If you've got a big enough thumb drive and you had two drives, make one a bootable copy of Windows to get into the PC, transfer all your files to the other thumb drive, and then you could wipe your hard drives and reinstall Windows fresh. That would have been unheard of a few years ago. <clears throat> Oopsie. Well. Kidding me? Why are you not picking up any material?
Uh, what? What very we model dog? Do I no idea what you just asked, champion. What very we model do you use for the FS2? Big Head Baby 81, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing today? <coughs> what view model? Uh, just regular view. I'm in in cab view. How's it going there, Big Head Baby? Good morning to you as well. At least we didn't turn sideways that time going down the hill and turn into the wall, like we usually do. I mean, we'd certainly try to help Bodine. Oh, they've got some pretty big thumb drives nowadays, Cookie. Or are you telling him to get a copy of Windows on a thumb drive to use that as a bootable? Brain no worky. It's Friday and it's cold. Yeah, I know how you feel, Bodine. Like I said, I spent a couple of hours messing around with trying to get the, uh... <laughs> nice, Billy. Yeah, it's, uh... I spent a while trying to figure out, like I said, I booted my computer up, everything was working great. Had all the RGB working together good and all of that stuff. And then suddenly... I started trying to mess around with one other piece of software, and the RGB stopped working. Why is the RGB not working anymore for my, uh, only for the RAM? So why is it doing that? What the hell? What? <coughs> I didn't do anything different. Why is it suddenly having an issue? And, uh turns out that one of the programs I installed screwed it all up. Lovely times. I mean, I won't go out of my way, Cookie, to get RGB, but if it's the same price, why not? <coughs> Oh, I mean, I love the RGB, but like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to pay extra for something just because it's got RGB. If everything works out and it's in the budget and all that stuff and it's the same price, yeah, all right, yeah, I'll do the RGB thing. Ooh, excuse me. 
Actually, we need to drop that there because the 7R is going to the back to the other farm. Or do I need it over there? I'll leave the 7R up at this farm, actually. Unless I find I need it down there for something. Those are going to go away. Make room for another uh, shed. Go get rid of this. question is what land do we own up here uh painting off off We kind of own right here. I'm just going to kind of go like that. Jeez, how far over do I own? How big was that plot that I bought? Oh, hell. It goes almost to the forest. Uh... 
Okay, that's why. Way the hell over to there, holy cow. Uh, yeah, kind of. I was missing a lot of the production stuff. Yeah, I got to missing all of the, uh, the productions and all of that stuff. It started to, I don't know, just get stale, not having all of Dave's goodies. <coughs> Unfortunately, it happens with more than just base maps, too, because... You have plenty of other maps that uh, don't have the productions and stuff, and they get the same way, you know? What I'll do is when I get this piece of land here, I'll make another road going over that way towards the that, but this will kind of look like a little track leading to the holy Jesus the camera All right, there. <laughs> Have a good one, Cookie. Good luck.
Old logging road. Something like that. Grass field. Grass field. This is all going to come out. Go grass. We will plant that all in when we get a chance. Uh, this is not owned by me yet, so no big deal. This will become grass. We'll take out some of these trees here. I'll probably pop another house in. And just bring this grass field around. Maybe we pop a couple of these trees out. Pop, put a house there. Another house over here. Uh, can we demolish this one? No. Do we not own it? We own it, it's just not demolishable. Okay. Good to know. Alright, we need... Do, 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 do. Hit the brakes. Ow. He did that. He did spoil us all yet. Time to start our uh, next project. Is that... Why does it do that? Every goddamn trailer. Uh, that's what I'm driving there, Bodine. I actually like it. It's a pretty decent, uh, it's a pretty decent truck. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now.
do that one. We'll take out this one here. And probably this one. No, we'll leave that one there. We'll leave this cluster. <coughs> There's going to be a lot of, uh... A lot of clearing to do over here. I think I might leave, like, or leave or make a, uh... Like, circle of trees in the middle of this, because this is a huge field. And having a little grove in the middle might look cool. How's it go, Vortex? How you been? I have to do some landscaping over here, it seems. Been busy? Nice. Yeah, it, ha it gets like that every now and then. Sometimes not a bad thing. You're on your lunch? You're gonna fire up the computer and play on your lunch? Wow. That must be nice. Whoopsie. Ouch. Ow.
<clears throat> ah, there you go. Working from home. Alright, we're going to drop off what we can for wood chips at Kingsford. And then I think we'll go drop a bunch over at the uh, bio... Uh, well, we'll go load up the paper mill. That's a good spot to put some. We haven't been up there in a while with wood chips. And uh, while we're there, we can drop some at the heating plant for electricity. It's a good idea. All right, let's get up over to the wood mill. Nighttime lights are on. Whoa, hey, car. That was close. He almost hit me. wrong turn I meant to go up into the wood area we'll go up the back way
Oops. We're going to switch things up quick. Save! Quit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're here. I'm Uh, we'll just call it that. You know what? Yeah, we'll just call it that. Alright, change that over to that. Now, I have a few questions. Server. Let's go over to our farm sim project. That's right, I did move it, didn't I? I did move it. It's in here now. Ah. Hello. Hello. What's going on, Dave? Oh, waking up. Best waking part. up. Oh yeah. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Exactly. Where's my Folgers? You'll you have to check with the next person. Stuff? Uh, pfft. who knows? My mom, my mom. <laughs> <clears throat> but it has to be a mixture of Folgers and Maxwell House for her. She's very big. <laughs> oh, it's Phoenix. Must be Winter Wolf or something. Wait a minute. I want a copy of that over there. But China Wait said it was what? just the civilian air balloon that blew way off course. Uh, sure. Spy balloon. Only halfway around the world, of course. I think you might have been able to, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could have figured it out before then. Alright. Uh... Oh, the things... If you can't laugh I don't remember that, I had half of these in here. Might scare you. How you doing there, anyway? See, you working on some map stuff. Uh, well... Stuff. Yeah, just messing around. I've been meaning to get around to fixing the 49X, some of the issues that I've had with it. Little quirky pieces, like the way it dumps and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it, it takes a long time for it to start dumping. Uh, the trigger on it moves funky, and I haven't been able to figure out why, so I'm going to see if I can't compare it to a few other files right now and mm -hmm. fix it. Cool. <clears throat> and there's also something else I wanted to add to it, too, that I've commented on like a dozen million times. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, effect grain back is right there. Tilt pivots down there, that's fine. We want... Uh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Where is the hot collisions? <coughs> Grain and particle back are both sitting right there. Tilt pivots there. I wonder if they've got it. Uh, oh, the discharge nodes. Do, 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 back, back fast. So they've got it way back there. And your tilt pivots there, so. But it shouldn't actually be affected because of the dump axis. Hmm. Because that's one thing I've always sat there and kind of looked at and was curious why uh, animations, legs unfolding tip animation, the dump axis, and rotation goes negative, grain back. Ah, they've got an effect on that. That might uh, be part of it. That's one thing I wanted to tweak, and I haven't really ever... Because the discharge nodes aren't in the same group as the tilt and I think that's one of the issues I have right now with the Western Star is the way I have it set up the discharge node moves when the tipper goes up so it'll move itself out of the trigger if you're not careful <coughs> and I don't have the uh, the particle and stuff like that. Oop, nope. Control Z, other way around. Why are you moving? Would you knock it the hell off and move in the right direction? You are really pissing me off right now. Are you freaking kidding me? God damn. Knock it off. Alright, so the particles are there. Uh, dump box pivot. I think I have the discharge nodes in the dump box. And I think that's part of my issue. No, I don't. They are... They should remain where they are. Leave that there. Dump box pivots there, that's fine. The discharge should be there now, and the particle we want to swing out positive as it goes up. <coughs> And the particle effect has to swing further negative. Okay. See if I can't mess with the animations on those quick. And then figure out why it... Uh... Because those are both still right there. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do. Move to other view. Way down here. Uh, animations, animations. Did I not animate the cylinder and stuff, or did I just... <coughs> what did I do for the animations on the dump? I know I did the animations for it, clearly. Did I put them in another spot? I did. See, they use dump access instead of bin. I had the door that I'm a animating, but I want to take the door off and make it swing like the, uh... No, I'll leave the door animation there. But we'll do this effect grain back, similar to this one. Mm -hmm. We will add that in here. We'll have to change its ni name. Uh, start time, end time will be 10, because that's how long that starts. That starts at 1. And the rotation, we said we wanted to go... We'll call it particles back. We'll do, the, we'll do it particles back. We'll find this node here. And we want it to do, oh, control Z, undo that. We want it to, I can't do that because it's so far over there. So we're going to have to do, Uh, I need to freeze transformations on that. Shit. That's what I didn't want to do. No, don't do it. Yeah. It froze transformations back to here, not there, unfortunately. All right, we want this one here, control C. It's going to be effect grain back. We're going to end it at rotation of 30. Uh, and we want rotating parts. I'm going to put the belt. Back screen back like that. That's part of it. And then the other thing I wanted to fix was its not animations, discharge. Whoa, hey. You actually downloaded a water factory for snow. Interesting, Chris. Hmm. Yep. They Why would you want to do that? <laughs> it 
Let's see, when it starts just charging, with tip effect, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. What controls how quickly it starts tip and dumping is what I want to know. Uh, let's see. Just for SMGs? Yeah, all right, I get it. Because I know there's something that controls when it starts to tip, and the Western Star right now tips way late. Usually a... in the animation timing. Um... No, uh, for this it's just animate the bed and it starts tipping at some point. I ha that's what the thing. Like I haven't been able to find anything that um, correlates. And I've looked at a bunch of different vehicles to see like why does this one dump so much sooner than this one? Hmm. Oh, right there, start tip time. Yeah. Is that it? Animation start tip time. Trailer configurations. Yep. Point. There it is. I didn't even notice that because I copied it out of something else at one point when I was doing that. Mm hmm. Save that. Subtract. We will. We've really done anything in here, but we'll save it all the same and close it. We have our zipped version as a backup. Let's go over to the server folder. We want to take the Western Star out. Copy the open folder in. We're going to take a random Elm Creek, deselect everything, but oh. where's my Western Star? And do, 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 do. Easy Dev Controls, where are you? XML animations, you've had fun doing this yourself. A lot of in and out of game testing. Do your head in. Yeah, well, there's an easy way to do it so you're not in and out of the game so much. And that's one of the reasons why I just did it the way I did it. Uh, F12, let's add a gaggle of money. We want to buy a truck. We're going to go with this one. Oh no, e easy dev will help, but also there's other w there's another um big factor. It's called GS vehicle reload. If you have the file unzipped in the mod folder, you, all you have to do is type uh Uh, why did it not work? Oh, there it is. You type it just like that. GS vehicle reload with the uppercases. 
and it will reload the i3D and XML. So if you can, all you have to do is jump over, jump back into the i3D, make a tweak, jump back in here, GS vehicle reload, and you're not having to reload the game constantly. All right, we're going to fill you with wheat works just fine. All right, we're looking good there. Nice. Looks better. Alright, looks good. That looks good. It works, uh... Starts a lot sooner. Like that, that works. Uh, let's do something else. Let's change it to wood chips or something that's going to have a uh, that effect. All right, let's make the tailgate move a little bit further. And we're going to shorten the animation time. That's what we're going to do. All right. Uh, animations. Do, 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 do. We're going to shorten it by a few seconds. The back door will start moving at 1, and it's going to go to... 35. Oh, crap. That's not in the right spot anymore. We need to now put it in the right spot. Um, because, <coughs> of course, I just moved it and it's not going to change anything because. You know, hey, dummy. Now it's got the right path. Then come over here. Much better. Yeah, I like that better. That works good. Uh, we don't need you anymore. Uh, we need to go to the server folder, open this up, open this i3D. Do, 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 do. She's a dirty girl. All right, now there was one other thing I wanted to get. Do, 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 do I have it yet? Uh, da, da. Where are those at? Brain. Brain, brain, brain. That's where I'm looking for. Prefabs. Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to go with... Uh, <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
That is way too small, so we're not going to use it. Dad Gel Crew coming in with a raid. Welcome in, Raiders. How are we all doing today? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. It's going good. How are you doing today? How was your stream? I'm actually curious about something. Strobe, you, come here. Nope. Not that. Yeah, well, I'm messing around with the Western Star a little bit more again today. I can't help myself. Let's let's lower the nav speed. That'll make life a little bit easier. We'll get rid of that one. That's not what I wanted. Uh, we're going to go under here. We'll put it under visual. Let's make a transform group. We're going to call it uh, strobes. How are you doing, Zippy? Oh, come on. I hate it when it does that. What button that I hit that I... I hate it when I do that. There we go. Why are you not moving now? <sighs> what did I do? Fat fingered something. Yeah, we're doing pretty decent so far. Staying warm, trying to, but. Alright, I hit something. Because I can't move the damn things around now. <laughs> what did I hit? Damn it. Ah. Oh. 
Ghost Trucker, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the channel. How you doing? The Grass Monster Mower you gave Team Miller. Um, maybe Aussie? Doesn't ring a bell? Thank you for the hydrate. Alright, what did I do that I now can't move the damn things? All right, what did I hit? I can't edit anything now. Oh, come on, stupid giants editor. Oh, the big M from Winston? I gotcha, gotcha. I broke something. Let's jump to the right, right window so I'm not screwing myself up again. All right, now I can move him again. It's weird. You about a what forty degree angle? Almost exactly. Thirty-nine, aren't you? Yep, thirty-nine degree angle. Want you? Uh, where do we want to put you? Nope, not that button. Let's go. Nope. We want to go to, uh, what would it be? 60, no, 51 degrees. And D Pyrolex Daytona 26, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the channel. 
How are you doing today? You were 39. Oh, you're just going to want to be a negative 39. Be that way. Alright, so we got four strobes up front there. make you invisible so we can see underneath here real quick. We'll make you invisible as well. I want that fifth strobe. I'm going to spin you all the way around. Actually, I should probably keep that uh, ramp visible. We'll see another one. I'm gonna put two of them right here. We'll see. I like it. Farm Lord X O, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the channel. How are you doing? It's a bit cheaty. Forty nine meter cut that's a big cut. <coughs> Alright, so there's the strobes. Now I also wanna put a light bar. I think we're going to give two options for the light bar. Why do you look like you're off center? No, oh, you're not. We might scale you a bit to make it fit properly, but... Let's get it down to the actual truck cab. Yeah, we still got to scale taller. Oh, perfect. I can do just the brackets at this point. Uh, do I want to do just the brackets? Uh, 
I got an idea. <coughs> I'm going to go back a little bit further on the roof. You're 45. You're going to go minus 45. Bring the entire light bar up a touch. Like so. We want to control. Uh, we're going to make another do, 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 do. transform group. Control X. Two miller stream and nineteen, you had something silly and you said you Ah, there you go. Call you light bars. Control X, control V. Why did you move? That light bar, toggle that invisible now for a minute. <coughs> All right, let's go toggle that back visible. We want to go in and make sure we toggle the other piece visible uh, that we moved. That was in the dump. A grain normal. We need to toggle visibility back on. <laughs> yeah. F off. It's pretty easy to do. Now, let's go back to the XML. We want to go to... Let's move you back to the other view. Get rid of this. And we need to find the... Uh, let's see... Natural motorized uh, configurations on the motor, differential configurations, motorized truck, hubs, uh, design right here, design configurations. No ramp, ramp. We're going to call you. Accessories, no ramp, ramp. We're going to add some other design configurations in here. Uh, let's see. I hit control C, you dummy. All right. Uh, let's see. Go down to the I3D. We're going to do a new section. Call it uh, strobes. And 
And we're going to need I3D mappings for light bar. Which we will come grab the... Alright, yeah, light bars. Is that one? How that's going to affect their visibility with the uh, actual light emission. All right, so we got the strobes, we got the light bar. So we want to go back where up to where the ramp was, way up at the design configurations. Ramp, no ramp. We're going to call this light bar. And we want to have object change. Light bar. True. And you actually needed to be added to That's a mouthful. Hold on a minute. Uh. Well, Michael, what I would say is don't do it over a text. First off, that, that makes life a whole lot harder. Because somebody's not going to sit there to, um... Well, no, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is when you're trying to converse with them to set something up, don't do it over a text because they're only going to mention a few things because typing. And then you're going to make changes and then they're going to tell you other things and then make changes. That's better to do it over like a a video call or something when they've got a copy of it in front of them and they can say, okay, this needs to be changed, this needs to be changed... And, and not back and forth, back and forth. It, it makes a big difference when you're trying to do that. White bar. And then we want another design configuration for... I, I'm not saying chat-wise, Michael. I'm just saying... Uh, I call this one strobes. We will cost you that for that. Control C, you need to be added up to here. Control V. 
And then we need that up there. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. All right, we got combination, 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 combination. And then now we want, uh, I'll see, this is going to be light bar and strobes. And this is going to be ramp light bar and strobes. You need to be now true. Mm. And we need to remove the collision on you. We're going to go rampant strobes. True. And you're going to become false. And light bar. Whoop. Help if I spelt that right, we'd have issues. Alright, so we got no ramp, ramp, light bar, strobes, light bar and strobes, right bar, lamp and strobes, ramp and strobes, ramp and light bar. <coughs> Save that. Uh, the only thing I think I need to do is under the lights. Uh, I may not have to, actually. Translation of component one noted it has to be zero. Y translation of component one. Okay. Ramp. No ramp. All right, that did not change. Because it's throwing an error. Your Y translation of component one.
All right. Uh, let's just make sure I'm in the right notepad. Yep. And then I think I needed to add it to do if memory serves. Shouldn't have to register a configuration for that. It should be there already because it's in that configuration group. Oh, I think I broke it when I changed the name of it. I think I broke it when I changed the name of it. Uh, well, I'll also say this, Michael. People tend to find things their second, third, fourth time looking at them, not necessarily always the first time looking at them. Why are you still loading with ramp, not accessories? And just those two options. Stop it. I changed it there. <clears throat> That's changed, so why is it not reading the right configuration group? Alright, what did I do that broke that? Or I should say, why is it not loading it, is the question. Let's try a complete reload of the game, see if that fixes it. Hi, Darius. How are you doing, handsome? How's Dave this morning? Afternoon, right. actually. Hour Afternoon. from your show already. Holy cow. Yeah. <clears throat> Hour from the show and five hours of bed. <laughs> well, maybe if we can get through it. I got to, for the first time, figure out how to pre-place a... Uh... Grape Orchard map. Alright, we I need to it. toggle the lights off at the moment, but there's the light bar, there's the strobes, strobes and light bar, ramp strobes and light bar. Alright, okay. We're getting the glow already, and we shouldn't be, so I'll have to look into that. But let's buy a copy of that quick and see. Yeah. Because it's what? Home to toggle a beacon, and it's not toggling them. So now we have to... Uh... 
get them set lightwise. Ah, I can't see Darius. Excuse me, kitty. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, yes. All right, uh, let's see. Motor configure. Uh, no, no, no. Lights, lights, lights. And we are going to borrow some XML information from... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Phew, i got to clean some more space out of my local disk. What's up, handsome? What are you doing? Lights, side markers, real lights, front lights, cabin lights, rear lights. States, low, high, glow turns, beacon lights. So we'll need this information here. Uh, let's see, he's got locals. He's got all the different lights there. And I think, let me just leave that there. We'll go to the 49X. Hopefully this is the server one. It is. Prefabs, light bars and strobes. We've got the beacons there. So we need to call these strobe patterns here. We got a strobe pattern one. We need the light bar 1800. We don't need these two because we don't have them in there. The beacons XML is what carries all of that stuff. There's all the textures for it all. Prefab, yada, yada, yada. So I just got to take like this section here. Oh, I'll have to break out each individual strobe. And then which one it needs to be called in for a... Uh... Alright. We'll take this. Let's go... That was at the basically... It's in the light section, so, so just in the light section. Default lights, brake lights, turn lights. We'll put it after the turn lights. Beacon lights. Let's take this back like that. We only have, we'll only have one kind of strobe. And there's a grand total of what? For eight of them total. So we'll do that. We'll have to change this to match the new uh, file pathing. Do we want strobe pattern one or strobe pattern two? I think what we'll do is we'll load them up, check it out, see what the. Because this is a double blink, triple weight. Hundred and the other ones. What's the difference between the two? Oh, the different strobe lights. Okay, and I think we only use the real light strobe. <clears throat> 
We didn't use the strobe two, we only used the strobe one. So we'll need strobe pattern one, we'll be able to delete strobe pattern two. All right, let's go back over here. 49X, down to the bottom, strobes. We need to add strobe underscore one. And your <clears throat> C V C. Uh, I'm editing a dump truck I've already made, Birdie. This is going to be two, three, four, five. Um, one of the members of the SGA had, uh, converted a Western Star, um, truck from 19 to 22, and I liked it enough that I added a lot of additional pieces to it, and I've, I've talked back and forth with, uh, Fummins, who gets the credit for all of this, um, about uh, adding strobes to it for a while and keep th we, we keep saying yeah that'd be really cool to do really cool to do and eh, I figured while I'm modding you know what what the heck I'll get the uh, I'll get the strobes added especially since there's a prefab pack of them I'll add them in get it all done send him the files and then when he gets a chance he can finish his tweaks and add it all in So we're just getting them all set up to work right. <clears throat> There's the eight different strobes. And then we want the... Uh, let's see. We'll need the actual light bar itself. Let's see... Uh, actually, I think that was the correct one, because it was 10-0. Yep. Okay, so... I just need to call that right. Yes! There's a kitty bed here, and a kitty bed here. And this is actually my cat, Darius. A big old ginger kitty. But he'll either sleep here, there, or under the monitors on the desk. And then, you know, Drake or Kisten or one of the other cats will take the other bed. Alright, so we just need to call the XMLs for all of these per the... <coughs> Dying... Nope, that's the belts. That's uh, right here. That is what I called it, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's not local strobes one XML, it is going to be prefabs.
You know what? I'm going to change that right now so that it is a little bit easier to, uh, strobes. Actually, I don't think I should because it's going to mess up the pathing already there. So I guess I just have to suck it up and type it out the long way. That's all. Because I don't feel like going in and fixing everything. FS22. Strobes underscore prefab. And then it's going to be strobe pattern one. All right, all of these need to be changed to that. And then we need this to be light bar. And this is going to be in the same folder, but this is going to be light bar 1800. And <clears throat> we have those winter headlights that are at a beacon lights. So it should be fine to just set it like that and have the beacon lights come on. But let's take a look that come back over here all right what did we just have happen failed to open XML da -da -da, 49 X prefabs ah light boss I screwed up Oh. I never screw up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> that one I have to call you out on. I know. I'm just... It should have shut the lights off on this thing. That might be a uh, reload the game function because of what we just did. Let's quit. Nope, not ATS, damn it. <laughs> Wrong icon. Wrong icon. Yes, I want to quit, damn it. That's what I said. Any day now. Did you just freeze? USOB.
Go away, ATS. All right, so we have zero, one, two, three for the states. Real lights, low and high. Defaults, turns, beacons. Yeah, real lights, low, high. Defaults. Strobes. Damn, didn't fix it. Hmm, why, oh why are you not loading properly? You should not be on. Until you need to be on. So what's going on? It's just a little XML coding pop of bear. Alright, let's take a look at something else real quick. Um... <clears throat> configurations, flappers, mirrors, lighting. Translates them? He does active and inactive on the same line. Do I need to do that there? I think I do. Whenever anyone asks me. <laughs> yep, absolutely, Papa Bear. Stuff like this. Hundred percent. All right. Active equals. Yeah. See, because what we need to do is active equals true, inactive equals false on these, and then uh, I think that will allow us to change up the way this. The rest of this works. Visibility active. I think the only one we can't do it with is the ramp. Uh, let me double check the frame options one. This is the fill volumes. Trailers and stuff like that. Accessories. It's the configuration sets. Right. Thank you, dear. Stop making me go down there. Sorry. Every time I go down there and print something off, I end up spending an hour. <laughs> he's lonely. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I screwed up the configuration set when I did that. It's my bad. That's different in 22 than it was in 19. There's the fill unit configurations, attacher joints. There's auto load, tension belts, animations. 
me look at another piece I had done. Where did I do the configuration for the other piece? Frame options, yeah. None, ace rack. Yeah, I gotta clean up this whole section of code. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. active, inactive. Yep, we gotta come back up here. I gotta re re recode this whole thing. Um, and this is going to be accessories, none. Actually, I think with this, it's just going to be like that. Then here we need to have <clears throat> uh, visibility inactive. Let me just grab a to do to do, do this here. Copy it back over here. Inactive, and then we need the this section right here. Control C it needs to go right after the ramp. Active equals true. And then compound child inactive equals false, if I remember right. I had it back down here in the fill. that and then these I should actually be able to get rid of it would help if I actually and then light bar should be just and then visibility inactive Uh oh. Like that. And then this one here should just be strobes. Like that. And then light bar and strobes. Uh, ramp needs compound child active true. Oh, we need to add this collision in here because of the ramp. We also need to add it here. We need to add you and you. You can go away. You can go away. Add that in there. And then we have the ramp again, so we need to add that back in. I should be able to do that.
Oh, it helps if I enter the vehicle first. Alright, we still have the light showing, though. <coughs> That one's got that on it. Uh, one thing I need to check real quick is that collision on that when it's not showing. Tony Miff coming in with a raid. Welcome in, everybody. How are you doing? How was your stream, sir? Thank you, patient number nine and blue 7776 for the follows. I do appreciate it. How was your stream there, Tony? Welcome in. All right, great. Oh, you're still on the grape challenge? Joe Anders, welcome into the channel. No, kitty cat, why... why why must you climb onto the just fresh papers into the house, please? Why? Why? Alright. Still don't know why we're getting the light on this when they're not on. What is going on there? And Joe Anders, thank you as well for the follow. Yes, they're fresh papers there, Darius. Alright, so, we don't know why it's doing it. Why is it doing that? Why is the light showing when it's not there? The only thing I can think of is on the Winter Wolf, he translates them all when... Uh, let's see, visors. See, the side markers. When they're active... They get translated. And I'm guessing they get translated into the vehicle or something so they're hidden. Or maybe it blocks the light? So I don't know why you would translate unless... Uh, well, these are the... Front pieces. That wouldn't do it. Oh, absolutely, Patrick. Or patient, yeah. Absolutely. Cats do what they want. I do what I want when I want, because I want to do it. Alright, configuration lighting. Ooh. My wife got me some early Valentine's candy. Swedish fishes. I love the fishes because they're so delicious. She also got me Sour Patch Kids and Reese's Hearts. Oh. They're really, really good. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, see, so the side markers, he just toggles them active and inactive. The lights don't show up. It's got to be something to do with those strobes. Why are they acting the way they are and not working properly? I wonder if something's wrong with that prefab. This might have been an exercise in futility chat, but we're going to we're going to follow through anyway. So you can strobes, strobes, active, inactive and all that stuff, the trends. See he translates them active and inactive. Why are you translating them? Is that to hide their look? That's a that's the question of the day at the moment, I guess. Is that to hide them?
Yep, absolutely. Sour patches? Nice. All right, let's see if we can't figure out. See, we've got lights here. Those your axles. Phoenix visibility. There's your, your side lights and markers. Little sockets, winter bodywork, cabins and stuff. Lights, maybe. Strobes. See, he's got it sitting there. It's not giving out light. Something is... I'm curious why he translates the strobes. Grill strobes group. Wonder if it's got something to do with their being always on grill. have frame group, rear frame group, dynamic statics. Modding is something you'd love to learn, but your old and technical stuff doesn't come easy. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Alright, so the cab lights are there. Even when the cab lights aren't showing, but somehow they toggle and they don't show when they're not supposed to. So is it done something he did in the XML or is it something he did elsewhere? Hmm. So, in the i3D, it's 018, 0187, so let's find that, 01, ah, right here. Seven, so the it's this group here. So he translates this just a little bit when he does it. Let's go back up to where that was. So he goes from five three nine five to four. To five one eight, he, just a little bit of a movement on the control Z undo. All he does is shift it over a little bit.
Let's see, right now it's at 518, which is where it's off. And he translates this to 539. But your Z and none of your other axes really translate. It just shifts a smidge to one side. Wonder why that is. Yeah! I don't know why you'd translate them, but he does. But that doesn't explain why his lights are off and mine are on when you're loaded into the game. Unless, did I, did I do something in here and save it and it screwed it up? That could be. Because I'm seeing all these light sources. No, it's not showing the dynamics that does it. Hmm. Because I don't remember seeing these lights like this. And that's... That might be why it's acting up. Is because I did something and screwed it up. Um, let's see. See, because it's weird, like, I, should, I shouldn't see the strobes, they're not on. And then the strobes themselves don't actually blink when I tell them to. So for some reason they're showing us on all the time. And I'm wondering if I screwed something up in here when I put them in. Alright, uh, it's odd that the lights, why are, that's random. Yeah, I screwed some stuff up. That. And this one's stuck in the ground because, you know, why not? You're cursed. Go away. Still doesn't explain the whole light situation, though. Why are they acting like that? How do the other ones show? But 
But the Winter Wolf is all of a sudden doing it too now in the I3D. And it wasn't before. I'm wondering if I toggled something in by accident and it screwed it all up. Would not be the first time I've done something stupid like that. Well, no, uh, the lights. You see how the lights are all... They're on even when they shouldn't be on. Like it's showing light even though it shouldn't be showing light. Does that make sense, Fummins? And this, this I probably need to uh, freeze, freeze the scale on too. Yeah. Because they aren't linked to anything. <coughs> Well, I went into the XML and did the, uh, oh, round one. Where are the lights at? I did add in the beacon lights and link them to the, uh, XMLs for those lights. Like I said, they're on when they shouldn't necessarily be on. And for one, some reason, at one point, the whole Y axis got shifted way down and screwed some shit up for some reason. No idea. I think right now, Giants Editor hates me, is, is what it comes down to. I wonder, is the XML on those things pointing to anything? Strobe pattern 1. Strobe lens. <coughs> hmm. Do I have to add these in? So I was looking at his lights, and he just has a strobe section. I don't see anything. Is he just gets down here to the strobes and then he calls all the strobe stuff. Which I did. Yeah. Default lights, real lights, stuff. Different states, the lights, cabin, rears, side markers and stuff. Come over here. Get your turns, your reverses. Lights. Light states. Yeah, see, I, I and I did, I...
Called it under prefabs, lights and strobes, strobe pattern one. Don't need this one. How's it going, Pompies? Unless, do I need to go in and... Yeah, well... Uh, da, 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 folder. Yeah, it is. See, this is the 49X. I've got this here, prefabs. It's in the mod folder, so there's the that, prefabs, lights and strobes, boom, right here. And then this calls for that folder set. Unless I spelt it wrong again, which is possible. I did that the first time. Until that's prefabs, light bars and strobes, prefab, strobe pattern one. Not for that, actually. Um, <clears throat> the only one, of course, is just for the uh, shapefile being too big. This is me reloading it over and over again. Unless there's something way up. Cut foliage. Needs to be zipped. Yeah, whatever. Entry to the FS twenty the forty nine forty. That's it. We're at the top of the list. <coughs> when you come in here, they're off. Ramp. The minute you pop up the light bar, the the uh, everything comes on. Ow. So it's weird, like, I don't get it. Back in a few minutes. That's what I was figuring. Unless, do I need to move the beacon lights up higher or something? I mean, he's getting right after his turn signals. Where this is. <clears throat> and they don't strobe either, which is the funny part. You get in and they won't actually strobe on and off. Even if you hit the button. 
So I'm wondering, do you do you have to call a configuration for that or something like that? To make it work? I've never added beacons to something that didn't already have them, so this is a little bit new for me. I just figured I'd try and mess around with it a little bit. I do know I need to add. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a curious one. I'll keep messing around with it. We're going to get ready to raid Mr. Dave here in a minute. Anywho. His, uh... Stream is up. Countdown is running. So we're going to get ready to raid over to him. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for coming over and hanging out. It's been awesome, as always. A uh, big thank you to Mr. Dagel Crew and Tony Miff for the raids earlier. Of course, a huge thank for you to everyone that's followed and joined the community. Uh, but until next time, you guys stay safe. Have yourselves a great rest of your day. And uh, make sure you tell Dave I said hello, even though I'm in chat with him. And we'll go see what Mr. Dave is up to this afternoon. Till next time, everybody. Have a good one. Well, thank you, Mr. Darius. <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Dave. Only a couple minutes left to...